potatoes, cheese, and meat. It's hard trying to hold the camera and do this. <laughs> and of course, it'll sit. Dinner for today, revamp meal from our spaghetti and meat sauce that we had from Monday and Tuesday. And today is Wednesday, so you guys seen I just took the leftover meat, fried some homemade fries, added some cheese, and a little bit of seasoning. And that's it. <laughs> So get up on your feet and stop worrying about things. Here we go again. I gotta start all over making friends. I need better people in my space. I wanna be in love. Other times I just right can't give up. Okay. I couldn't jump high, I couldn't run fast, I couldn't You put lotion on your face? Yeah. I Did you put lotion on your face? Huh? Did you put lotion on your face? Did you put lotion on your face? I can't hear you. Did you put lotion on your face? Yeah. Did you put lotion on your face? I'm going to yeah. try this one more time. Um, just Look like at me. Bathroom. No. Did you put lotion on your face? Yes. Yes what? Ma'am. Thank you. I don't know why you acting like that. Wow. Oh, unzip in your jacket so they can see your shirt. Are you ready? Three. He's silly, y'all. No, he's silly. What is Okay, he hit this one in his new outfit, y'all. He finally wearing it. And his shoes. His... What are you doing? Yeah, that's the back of it. Let me see. It's a banana. Mm -hmm. The Hurley tops. He said he'd be cold at school, so he wanted to wear his jacket and then his shoes. He just wearing them shoes today. My friend, my friend bought him those. And these the ones his daddy had gotten him. Because I don't even think I shared them. You good? Are you good? Turn it off. Are you good? Thank you. See, all you gotta do is mention turn something off to these Good morning, everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome back to our channel. Happy, I don't even know what today is. Uh, Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. I hope you guys. Are having a great start to y'all week. It's hump day. We're almost there, y'all. It's almost a Friday. Almost, okay. It's almost down. Sit y'all right here. Should y'all see me? Let me see. Make sure y'all can see. Okay. I'm just about to get my bed made up. Okay. Let's see. Oh, I don't feel like doing anything today. If I'm not going to tell y'all how to do it, I really don't want to do anything at all today. Oh, I don't. I didn't vlog at all yesterday because I wasn't feeling well. I went to Dollar General. Um, I Well, I had an interview Tuesday. No, Monday. Turn this light on. I had an interview Monday. Interview went well. I got the job and I'll start on the 15th. And this job is locked in. It's not like at the casino when they did me dirty. <laughs> um, and I'll just tell you guys, um, long story short, because I did talk about it on my other channel, but long story short, I had got the position at the casino. Sorry, I work out first. Y'all seen everything that I did. Y'all seen all the stuff that I had to go through. <sighs> Y'all seen all the stuff I had went through, filling out all the paperwork, doing all the stuff. I got my background check. Everything came back in, came in good, no problem, no hiccups, no nothing. Um, and this was at the casino. In the end, Y'all seen I went to the courthouse, got those papers for them, did everything. I had everything ready a week before I supposed to had everything ready. I got my welcome aboard email. I got my package in the mail for my benefit package. After those 90 days, I got my hiring package in the mail, everything. I got that in on Monday. Monday evening, I got a call. Oh, we missing two papers out your file. No, they wasn't. They claimed my social security card wasn't on file. 
And I know it was because when I got my drug test done and when I got my um, fitted for my uniform, I had to sign off on those papers. And they make a copy. They have a copy of everything on both of those papers. I still have both of those papers because they give you a copy. And I told the guy that, I said, I can send you a screenshot with the copy of it. And he was like, you know, that's okay. We just found it. Really? We just found it? So, like, that quick, we found it, right? And then the next one was like, well, we need you to get a passport. It was always something. And I'm like, man, please, I'm not going through all this extra stuff because it, it started seeming kind of shady. And the day that I had went in and did the walkthrough and, like, the pre-training process, one of the ladies was like, whoa, I can't believe that you actually got the position because one of our human resource lady, her sister was putting in for the same position. So she was like, okay, well, that's a good thing. That means they're not doing favoritism. And this was two weeks prior to that when I told you guys I had that whole pre-training and all that. And that's the day I got picked for my interview. So, like I said, that Monday, the stuff sort of seemed a little shady. So that Tuesday, he was like, well, we'll just see you Thursday. And that's the day I was going to start. So Tuesday, someone else called. And they was like, well, we're really going to need you to go get that passport because we can't find this and we can't find that. And I was like, well, the guy had me go get uh, um, my papers from the courthouse. And I went and got that. And it's like, who else went through all of this? Tell me who else went through all of this, right? And um, she was like, well, uh, we really just going to need it. And yes, we did tell you to go get the papers from the courthouse. And we seen that you brought that in. But we're just going to need one more thing. And it's really going to be that passport. Any paper that you do, they act like I'm some kind of, you know, I, I don't belong to in the United States, you know what I mean? And you need all of these papers proving that you're a citizen. Any place that you go to, when they ask for forms of ID, you can get your license and social security card, and that's what I gave. That's usually what they take, your license and social security card, um, or your license and voter registration card. I have four. I have my license, my military ID card, which has my picture on it, my, um, voter's ID card and my social security card. So not only did I have two, I had four. But I knew, like I said, I knew it was some mess. So you know what, at that point, I was like, girl, let it go. God is trying to close this door for a reason, let it be. So she was like, well, just drop the, drop it off Wednesday because we're going to need it before Thursday. This was Tuesday morning. So I had a day to go get this done and drop it off to her the next morning. No, ma'am. So I was like, oh, okay, thank you. Hung up, left it just like that. So... That with that same day, I put in three applications online. I prayed on it and I let it be. I just left it there. So Wednesday, the lady called. I didn't answer. She left an email. Um, Miss Alicia, we didn't get your papers in. It's okay. You can just bring them in Thursday morning. <laughs> didn't return a call or nothing because I already knew. I I let that go. So Thursday, the day I supposed to have started, did I go in? No, nope. I supposed to have been there for nine fifteen. Did I go in? No. Nope. They called me. They called me five times Thursday. They called me five times Friday. They called me five times Monday. I guess they figured at that point, okay, well, she's just not coming. No, because y'all not finna do me dirty. So one of the ladies that work up there, the one of the ladies that works, she don't work in that department. She works in the kitchen. She's one of the food chefs. I used to go to school with her. So I had sent her an email on Facebook. Um, I'm going to have sent her a right. I'm message. Right, I'm going to be Okay. I sent her a message on Facebook, and I was telling her, and she was like, that don't su be surprised me because that mess always happens Mom, to me. Did you go turn the light on in the kitchen anyway? You no, know, but you can use the thing to go do that. Okay. And, and I was so say good morning. Sorry. Good morning. Yeah, so she was like, that don't surprise me at all because they do mess like that all the time. And she was like, you did right. Because she said a lot of her friends had went and applied like over the years for different stuff. And they would offer it to them. And then all of a sudden stuff would come up because they gave it to somebody else. Who been working up there that know you know that know somebody that know somebody and I'm like child I ain't got time for that yeah the money and stuff was real good and all of that but the hours was the hours was pretty good and they said they can work around your schedule but like Rante said they'll tell you that but once you get there they won't work around your schedule because they didn't work around hers and I need a job that was gonna work around my schedule so anywho I'm not worried about that place whatsoever um <laughs> so I did get me. I got off the other job. Like I said, I have put in three different applications. Um, two in retail, one in the medical field. I got a call back from every last one of them. And I just decided to take one of the jobs in retail because that one worked the 
best with my schedule. The pay was, you know, like working with the schedule and the best and the perks and all this other stuff. And you can climb the ladder. So I went on and took that job and I started on the 15th. Yep, I started on the 15th. So I am very happy. Um, and like I said, I think you could possibly, you know, climb the ladder. You can go to where if they need you to do training or if they need you to either go to training somewhere else, you get paid to travel to go there. And if you get a position like a higher, higher up management position, you can go and possibly to do training if they opening up stores in other areas out of state, you can do that and you get paid really good to do all of that. So there's a whole lot of perks to this place. So yeah, so I'm happy. I am I'm really happy about it. Um, the <laughs> kids are happy about it. Because Alicia was like, okay, good. I can use your discount and get me some stuff online. But I said the same thing. And Philip was like, okay, cool. Do they have toys there? That's all he wanted to know. Yeah, I know that. So, <laughs> yeah, and they do have makeup and all, you know, so, of course. But, you know, so, yeah, I'm happy. I am, I'm happy. Everything worked out. Um, Philip is in that fixing him some work. Let me say it's making up this bed, y'all, so. I can get to moving. I do have two sit-down videos that I got to record on my other channel. Like I said, hopefully y'all can hear me. I got, like I said, I got two other videos that I got to record on my other channel today. And then I got to run my mama to the bank. And then I'm coming back home and do nothing. Because like I said, I was not feeling well. Yesterday, I'm still not feeling well today. But I know it's just from my medicine change, so it'll be all right. It'll take me a couple of days, and I'll be fine. But yeah, all yesterday, I rested, y'all. Rested all yesterday. So, let me get finished on making my bed. Yeah, I've already seen the little man. Yeah, I just got my bed man. Just keeping it just simple. I might throw one of these throw pillars on here, but I don't know where some kind of sit on my floor. <coughs> you good, Philip? You got all your stuff? Alright. Alright, yeah. Philip just got on the bus. Yes, I changed my clothes. I just changed my top. I got on this pink. It's like a half top. I paired it with just a blue tank underneath. Still got my pants on. Y'all see my pants on. So I just changed the I'm about to start laundry. Mama is outside cutting grass. Cutting the grass. But y'all know mama, so she gonna do what she gonna do. And I let her. I just let her do what she want. Within the reason. <laughs> I'm about to actually stop the laundry. And see what I'm going to fix me for breakfast. Because I don't quite know. Hold on a second. All right. I have to get my chocolate. Do y'all know how it goes? Do y'all have certain laundry days? Guys, do y'all have like certain laundry days, or you know, do y'all just kind of do it however, or whether you have kids at home, or just end of this one, y'all. We got another one, though. but like whether y'all have kids at home, y'all grandkids, or if it's just y'all, you know, sometimes people have certain days they do laundry. So, y'all, let me know in the comment section. How do you guys do? 
we normally have certain laundry days, like Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we'll do laundry. But, but, if we see that, you know, we got a good bit of clothes that day, then we'll um, go ahead on and do them. Or like if we're doing, um, what do you call it? Our comforters and stuff, we'll do those in between laundry day. So, yeah. And, yeah, no, it's just us, so. <laughs> it's just us here now. So, we don't have as much laundry as we used to have. But y'all know, even when the kids was here, we still did basic laundry days because it didn't make sense for us because our family is so big for everybody to do laundry on certain days. But like I said, that's for us, you guys. I know some people like, nope, I don't care if it's just them. They don't do their own laundry on certain days. And I get it. You know, I trust me, I get it. Now, if like my kids had they work uniforms or they came home and one of their clothes, you know, some of their clothes and stuff was messed up or whatever, then they will come do their own clothes. But like just like I said, for a basic wash day, this is just how we do. Um, but they will do and they do their own laundry. It's just like I said, it just kind of depends on how much we have. Because I don't want to have to start a wash and you don't even have enough to, you know, you don't have enough to make a load and then you waste some water washing a half a load and i'm glad that we got the washer that we have now because this particular washer it well the one we had before was energy efficient also but this one doesn't have the agitator in the middle so you can do a huge wash kind of like having going to the laundromat and having a big wash you can do a huge wash. I mean, y'all remember when we got this one. And then this here is our whites. So this was my basket out of my room. And I do have the little, this. When I do laundry, I just wash the, the thing that it goes in. But this one was my mama's. Her and Rante usually put their laundry in that basket because it goes in the main bathroom. And then, of course, my basket goes in my bathroom. Oh, wait, no, I'm Deontae. Now, if, De if her and Deontae has a lot, I'll do they separately. So I'll just do me and my mom and Phil. Is this a lot now? See, this not even a half a load. See, this here, this not even nothing. So I'm going to just go. And it's probably just. This work stuff. So I'm just gonna throw that in there. What else? Alright, yeah. I'll put some fabric softener in there. And that's it. But these here will be two separate um, loads. Maybe three. It'll either be two or three separate loads I gotta dry. I have bleach and water in here, and in this one, I keep fabuloso with some water. Everything is already clean and washed down, so I don't have to do any of that. all right you guys i'm sorry i gotta re-record this i did it and for some reason it recorded upside down okay i changed my curtains out i got my ones the ones that i had up it's like between a peach and a burnt orange they did have the color on the bag but i don't have the bag anymore the only reason they look lighter because my blinds are open but once my blinds are closed you can see 
it's like a more orange color and so I just put those up because it is fall and I'm transitioning in the fall I will be painting my main wall repainting it because I've had and I think I said that in a video but I don't remember if I put it on this channel or my other one but I've had this wall um, painted this color it was going into Alicia's junior year and y'all know she just started college she did her room as well and they're going to keep that color that color they have it but I just want to change it um, you know, sometimes we just, that's what we do as women. We just change stuff. So it's been two, a little bit over two and a half years, maybe three, on, you know, going into three years almost. So I just want to change my accent while I do love it, this color, but I don't know. I just want to change it. I don't want to do a gray because y'all know we got the rest of the house gray and then my bathroom is gray and white. So I don't know. And I'm not no girly girl, so I'm definitely not going to do a girly color. This is as girly as I can get, but this is, on, like I said, this is like an orange, a deep orange color or a deep peach. And then this blue is more of like Caribbean style thing blue. But like I said, I'm just not that girly girl, so y'all won't see pink or purple. I do have a purple comforter, but it's a deep, like a violet color. And then I, when I did have that comforter up, I had my gray curtains. But yeah, um, and then of course I am going to keep my um, my space and my prayer area like I have it because I just do, I love that color blue. Um, I will paint my wall. You guys probably been realized that, that when I painted the rest of my room, I didn't do my closet area. But now that I have it open and I don't, you know, my clothes and stuff is not in there. And I know one of you guys had asked and I think they probably had mixed that video but I do just have like my jeans and my church clothes in Phillips room and that the back part of his closet because nothing is in there and then all my other clothes like I have my leggings because I'm a leggings and joggers jogging pants type shit with hoodies and stuff like that and I have all of that on my shelves up there and then my shorts and all of that whatnot I have in my dresser drawer so yeah and I'm very minimal so yeah <laughs> and like so my dress stuff is in the other room so with my job that i have i'll have i'll have to wear a lot of dress clothes so i will be going to get me more dress clothes and incorporate more dress clothes but when i'm off leggings joggers jeans jogging pants hoodie t-shirt type chick um, and my shoes and stuff is in that other closet and boxes and the original boxes and stuff tennis shoes and all of that is in there um i have a few sandals that's in those things that you see up there and my units and stuff is in the other room also so yeah but um that's just it you guys looks like just very simple and easy and then all my perfumes and um, lotions and stuff is over there on that stand where my computer is and that's it just simple 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 I got my pictures over there on that wall and then that one I put over there I don't have anything over here on this wall I was watching Candace video that she just put up and I was watching it from the TV. I tell you guys a lot of time I watch our videos from the TV when I'm cleaning. And then over here I just put my gray curtains that I had in my room in here. I'm not done in my bathroom. Like I said, I'm not even done in my room. But once I'm, I figure out what color I want to do my room, I'm not painting in here because I just painted in here. But I am going to change up my decor colors for the fall up in here. I'm not sure what colors I want to do yet. But when I do y'all will see <laughs> and that towel like I said do not pay any attention to that towel or the washcloth because I took my shower this morning and when you guys had asked why do I take showers and baths I take my bath at night because that's my me time and I get to soak and then I just take a shower in the morning because since I'm still premenopausal I think I'm just menopausal period because uh, yeah I've talked about let me turn y'all this way <clears throat> all right because I've talked about that many other previous videos i had a partial hysterectomy done some years ago years years ago um philip was two i want to say he was two maybe three and even with that y'all know i got my thyroid and stuff out so that affects your hormone level so i am definitely premenopausal menopausal so i have tons of hot flashes and <laughs> it, it's terrible at night 
So when I get up in the morning, it's hot and I'm sweating, so I take a shower. I I heard, I try to do it before I get Philip up in the morning, but if I can't, I'll do it. Um, you know, once he gets on the bus and I get to doing what I have to do. So yeah, but I'm about to do my hair real quick because I gotta take my mom out to the bank. I'm about to refill this with some more water because it's cold. I don't like putting cold water in my hair. And then I'm gonna put this oil in it, and I'm gonna follow up with. Some African Pride is a hair cream that Riante got. And I am going to go to the beauty store now that I'm natural again. I know I didn't talk about it much, but I will be doing a video sharing why it has a lot to do with my chemo medicine that I'm back on. And that's because of my thyroid and grave disease. You guys know that it's ongoing and it will be ongoing. So, yep. And... So, yeah, so I want to try even between the Pantene, the new Pantene gold products that they have out and the new Dark and Lovely line. So I want to try those two and see which one I like more. I want to dye my hair. I don't know if you guys can even see my hair color, but I have I have a lot of different colors going on in my hair. And it's just my natural hair color, of course. And then I got grays, like blondish, reddish, brownish, all colors in here. But I want to. I don't know. I want to go. I don't know. I just want to do something different with my hair because it's going in the fall. Let me go ahead and do my hair, you guys. And I'll see y'all when we get in the car, okay? All right, y'all. <laughs> I didn't record while I was in the car because I forgot my vlogging stick. But I ran in, in Walmart. I had to get some cooking oil. Okay, you guys, if you are not already subscribed to my other channel, the link is in the description box below. I had a Dollar General haul that I did yesterday. I got a thing of Ritz crackers, two things of cheese. This was the one I was trying to tell you guys I got on my last thing of the Velveeta because it's $2. And a thing of chips. Because we had spaghetti. What's that, Monday? We cooked spaghetti Monday. And Tuesday and we still had meat left we don't have that many noodles left but we have meat left and I am NOT wasting this meat so what I'm going to do is because who has money to waste <laughs> we got potatoes um, round is gonna peel me well she's gonna cut my potatoes and I'm gonna peel them up and I will be doing a casserole so it's just gonna be fries like you know homemade fries I'm going to put the meat and cheese on top. And I'm going to bake it up. So, yeah. So, that's going to be dinner for today and tomorrow. That's why I got those two things of the Velveeta. And then I still have some of this one left. So, I can just put those two on there. <clears throat> but, like, say nobody is wasting anything. And right now, I got to see. Ryan say. Nope. They not dry. Ryan said, you ain't test to see if the clothes was dry, sister. They still damp. I'm going to get these. Well, no, I'm going to leave them in there because I just got one basket. So when these do finish drying, those will go in. These will come out because they already washed. And like I said, we was out of cooking oil. And I didn't want to go to the dollar store and just get one of those for like $3 for a small one. And you can pay 5 for this big one. And I got some chips for later. I did make brownies yesterday. So y'all see how they done cut them. I don't know why in the name of the good Lord. Or who. Now I cut. Like I cut a few. I don't know who came in and cut a center one. Most likely Beyonce. Did you eat any brownies? Huh? Did you eat any brownies? Did you eat any brownies mama? Oh Beyonce. Because Philip can't cut his own brown. So, yeah. But I'm about to. I don't know. Right now, I'm going to get me some of these. And I think I'm going to just fix me some French toast sticks. I don't know. I've been eating a whole lot, y'all, lately. A whole lot of everything. So, I'm just eating me some of these right now. Like, I'm going to fix me some. No, I might just fix me some grits. But I've just been having a taste for French toast sticks. Oh, and I got me some soap. I had to get some soap and deodorant, but I already put that in my bathroom. So, yeah, I'm going to fix me this little grit. I'm going to get some for me. I'm pretty sure no one else will probably not eat any. So, I'm just going to get some soap. 
sausage. all that water because like I said I'm just fixing it up just for me. So y'all look a little bit better because it's gonna fall over as soon as I move. Okay, y'all. Like I said, what I got on, this is just, it was comfortable, and this is what I planned on wearing for today. I wasn't worrying about trying to be no cute supermodel or nothing like that. Okay, I'm fine. That was it. And this is very comfortable. It is. It's comfortable. Very, very comfy. And I just put this underneath because I don't want my belly. I don't want my belly out. But this top is real comfortable, y'all. <laughs> it is. I put a little bit in it now while it's before I start, you know. Okay, I already know I love my butter. So this is two tablespoons. I start off with. Bay Company. 
that's the company that I had the review for. And the review is in my description box below. I'm just going to pour some grits in here. I don't measure my grits or anything, but I'm just going to pour it in here just so I can put my grits back in the cabinet. And I just kind of eyeball it. That's I'm pretty much going to be the only one that's going to be eating. And I don't want to make a lot of grits. So nobody else is going to really eat. So, that's so that way, if one person do want something, they'll have some. This probably be something new, y'all. I do like to cook with bottled water. Y'all know I already have my bleach water, dish water filled up. I did that this morning. Y'all again know I clean as I go. I always wipe down as I go. Right here. So when I come to a ball, I'm just gonna whisk my grits in. Like I said, my sausages in here. Doing this thing. These are the brownies when I made them. It's the Ghirardelli. I still had the box. I didn't throw the box out. I got the box out yesterday. So and Deontay ordered him a pizza last night. So when he get home from work and he throw his pizza box away. <laughs> I'm going to let him um, throw that outside and just like a change. And pour some vegetable oil for tonight. For well, this evening when we cook. Because my deep fryer is already cleaned out. And empty. Let's see if I can do it one hand, y'all. Oh, let me make it. Yep, 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 yep. Deep fryer, like I said, is cleaned out. But the last thing we did with our deep fryer was fried our shrimp. So my mama always fried the fish in the cast iron. Cast iron skillet. But I do my shrimp in the deep fryer. So it's clean. And then the potatoes. And y'all ready to eat the cheese. This is hot back up. Close. I'm trying to get all this stuff done before I have to start. Hey Savannah. Hey Savannah, Mama. Hey, no Savannah, Mama. I do have the Orion fries, but I just want, I just want homemade fries to go with my food. And I'm just cutting them about this length, not necessarily steak fries, but not shoestring size. I, I'm just going to put them all in this pan I have sitting right here. I think I have 12 potatoes. Y'all know I got not necessarily a huge size family, especially with other kids going, but enough of us that we are all eating. I'm trying to make enough for two days because I'm not trying to cook again until Friday, and today is Wednesday. So that's what I'm doing. 
what I'm trying. That's what I'm going for. Don't know if it's going to happen. Some days it does. Some days it doesn't. And I just enjoy cooking. Like, this is something I've always enjoyed doing for my family. make me mad. I still enjoy cooking. One of you guys had asked in the comment section if if and when I get married do I still plan on cooking for my husband? Or do I want us to share the responsibilities? I don't mind cooking. Yes, it would be nice to have you know your significant other in the kitchen with you from time to time. But I'm still going to cook because I still have my son. And again, I just enjoy cooking. But, yeah, it would be nice, you know, like I said, to have your significant other in the kitchen with you. Sometimes me and cook in the winter don't. Sometimes me and uh, grill in the winter don't. Sometimes we just don't cook in the man. The man cooks, you know. So it's not a know-your-place type thing or nothing like that. But, yeah. I would appreciate it for us to be in the kitchen and share certain, you know, share certain things when able to. Depends, you know, depending on the shifts and how they work or whatever, you know. Some of you work overnight and cannot be able to do it. Some people cook their dinner in the evening time and the man is already at work so they can so it just kind of depends on you and your situation and you know, who you plan to marry and who not. Trying to see if this is enough. Round time. Can you come peel me like two more? I have some leech water right like to use onion powder on my fries. Salt, pepper, and onion powder. That's it. Yeah. I'm just asking if you can feel me. Too. What do you want to? And my mom said she's going to put her pants away. I'm going to let Rianta peel me two more. I do have my oven on preheating. On 350, because I am going to put this in the oven with my meat and let my cheese melt. This is some clean, fresh grease. You guys seen that? I just went to the store and bought me some. Potatoes are room temperature, so it's not going to stop the cooking process at all. Just... I'm ready to see some of my dishes. Yeah.
get me two more potatoes. I already put my cutting board and my dishwasher. I'm not getting it back out because I already rinsed it off. I'm kind of top is clean. Y'all know that. Got some bleach and this should tell you to pump this off. I might have been amusing too. I so I did. I forgot that quick. I had Guys, this is my meat. This is my meat, and it's already hot. I heated it up already. I already have showed you guys. I showed it to you guys earlier, and I'm just gonna layer it just like you would normally lay your lasagna. Layer your lasagna. I'm gonna put a little bit of it at the bottom. It's just a thin layer at the bottom. Move it to the side. And I did wash my hands, and my hands are already washed. I'm put some cheese. I do have three packs. The other one is the Mexican blend. I'm gonna do some of the Mexican blend too. And I was just putting some on top of my spaghetti and I put some on Phillips. So this is the craft one. My fries are floating up to the top, so I know they're almost done. Yeah, I know that's the indicator when they float to the top. I don't want them to be brown, brown. Like I said, they are done. Oh, tripod falling over. That's a child here. Okay, that's a child right here. That's just water. Okay. My fries. I'm not gonna just. I'm not gonna just drain them like I would normally do if I'm making fries. You know, get your paper towel drain. 
I don't have the grease though because I got a slider spoon. But I'm not, when I mean draining them, like I'm not putting them on a paper towel. But like I said, I do have a slotted spoon, so I'm taking the grease off that way. And it's a little bit getting in it, it ain't gonna hurt or kill nothing. I do have a basket, a fry basket, but honestly, it takes a long time to fry a whole lot of fries using a fry basket. And like I said, the meat is hot, the fries are hot, and the cheese. So everything is going to already be cooked. This thing is just going to have to melt. The cheese is going to melt on the top, and this dish will be done. The longest step is pretty much just frying the fries, and like I said, that doesn't take long. But I'm pretty sure all you guys have made this before, whether you made it with tater tot, or like I said, did a cream sauce, or a spaghetti, it doesn't matter. It's everybody done made something similar to this before i'm not going to add any more salt or anything else to it add some more my fries in my deep fryer cook And it's just like making chili cheese fries. You're just going in with your leftover spaghetti. The meat you have from your spaghetti. So, <laughs> so instead of chili cheese fries, you make a spaghetti, spaghetti cheese fries, or whatever you want to call it, y'all. Casserole, whatever. Whatever your heart desire to call it. A meal. I'm stretching the leftovers and making them into another dish that they can have two more days. This is pretty much like the middle one. I'm not going to put any of the Mexican one on the top. I don't know why, I'm just not. I just want all cheddar on the top. I just always like my middle layer to have more cheese. And that's just my preference. This is not a tutorial or nothing. This is just a video. And again, my hands are perfectly clean.
these fries here when they come out. I'm just gonna let these fries finish cooking. And when those fries come out, I'm gonna layer them on top of here. And then I'm gonna do some more cheese and then pop it in the oven. And then these fries here that's left, they can just eat. Cause like I said, I forgot, and it was my fault. It was my fault. I forgot that um, I'm going to put this meat on it and I can put the fries and cheese on top. But yeah, I just completely forgot that I had made my brownies. Well, I knew I made my brownies, but that's what I put the, um, because it wasn't a lot of meat, so I'm just going to have it go pretty much right in the middle. Like I said, those potatoes will go right on top and get some cheese. But these fries are frying away. And these two will just be my last batch and they can be Y'all know using mama do laundry. But she washed, she cut grass this morning. I told y'all that. So finishing up the laundry. I started it. I'm finishing up. Majority of this stuff is for me and Phil anyway. It's just a few things in here that's the moms and the kids. It's mainly mine and Phil's. He always have the most clothes because of course he goes to school and he come home and you know change his clothes and then he'll put on pajamas. Which sometimes he'll come in, take a bath, put his pajamas on for the night. But if he's going outside and stuff. Doesn't always go that way. Again, we put a towel in the dryer because it makes the drying time go by faster. Last load in the dryer. I told y'all I put everything to get warm, but I don't put everything in the dryer at once because it'll take longer to dry. Come, where you gonna put your pillow at? You can't throw it in the dryer. Ramsey had washed her pillow and a few of her sheets and stuff. So, this last thing that's in here, I'm gonna let her dry. Oh, two of these are mine, like my dress shirts and stuff for work. So, I'm gonna just hang those up so I'm gonna go in the dryer. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna 
we got to multitask. <laughs> Being a mom. Got to multitask and do everything for your kiddos come home or your youngins. Um, Thank you. Come on, school. Come on, work. Can you stop pushing me? I don't push you. I don't push you, though. Okay. Well, I took the meat from it. And I did potatoes, meat, and cheese. Mm -hmm. Well, leave it alone. And that cookie ain't done yet. Y'all see, that ain't done yet. I know it looks good. I was going to put it in another pan, but my brownie. So I had to put it in there. Anytime you get anything else, you get so offensive. It's my brother. <laughs> Wait. Oh. Yesterday, you had all my kitchen. Y'all see that? That happens on the right Savannah and Deontay, too. I'm saying anybody. Yeah, she gets very jealous. Especially when she's like, what you got to say to I'm not going to say nothing. I'm going to let you do you, baby girl. But go. I'm about to put these fries on here. I'm going to show y'all again. I do have a sliding spoon. Oh, And I told y'all that last batch, we just gonna eat. Savannah is waiting for me to drop a fry, y'all. She right here. She waiting, cause she like, I know you gonna drop something. And I'm waiting. I'm just waiting for you to drop something, cause I'ma get it. You gotta hurry up and beat her to it, cause if she see food hit the floor, she runs over here to get it, y'all. And you got to literally try to hurry and pick it up. And if you don't get it before she get it, oh, she going to try to bite your finger if you try to take it. She don't play. She greedy like everybody else in this house. <laughs> That's a fair. She greedy like everybody else in here. It's some of our homemade fries. Oh my god, you can make it a sandwich, put it on just some regular white bread. You don't even need no ketchup. Bread. Get you two pieces of bread, put you some fries on, and just eat it. How many times have y'all did that? Old school people, y'all know. Many days we did it with my grandma and mom. They made homemade fries, and we just put some on some bread, and it filled you up. Bread and potatoes, oh yeah, it filled you up. If you didn't have meat, Okay, so y'all, I grew up old school with my grandma and my mama. My mama had one income, my grandma had her income, and we made it work. Wasn't bougie, nothing, but we ate every day, and I'm talking about eight, you hear me? Cornbread, cabbage, we wasn't lacking on no kind of food. Every day we had a home-cooked meal and dessert. It was never a day we had to say we was hungry, okay? Now I'm gonna layer this cheese on top. Sorry, Savannah, baby girl. I'll get one of these when it come out for you. I ain't had them all for you. And these fries here, we just gonna eat them. I'm gonna just dump all these in here. Showed y'all that was for the spaghetti, but I went in the store just to get that for today. Alright, and right on top, all I'm doing is taking some parsley 
And I just like to hear for no particular reason. I just like the color to hear the cheese. But you ain't got to do this. I just like to put some on mine. It's not going to change the taste of it at all. Not in my opinion. But then I'll go over a little bit of paprika again. It's just the coat. It's not going to change the taste. Now I'm going to I'm just going to tint it. And I'm not the best at tinting. <laughs> I just don't want any of my cheese to get messed up. So I'm not the best at tinting. Tinting it and not letting it touch it because I want the cheese to melt in. Like I said, my oven was preheated to 350. I am going to watch it and just let it melt. The rest of my fries. You fit your girlfriend have her a French fry sandwich. And if you want to be old school about it, French fry sandwich. Y'all know about French fry sandwiches. Y'all know all about French fry sandwiches. I even love to cook fries on my burger. I found myself wiping down the same stuff. I already wiped, but it's okay. It's just a force to have it. Alright, I'm about to. Do y'all just hang with me right now? All I'm going to do is get this out. I got more juice detergent. It's over there. Of course, I'm going to refill my bottle. This is the Fabuloso. And some bleach in that bottle. I'm just rinsing this out. I took my spoon. I gotta take my fries off. Alicia, really? I meant to just take this. I'm sorry. I'm gonna wish more to the bowl. I'm gonna put all this stuff on the bowl. This evening. Once everybody is done eating. I want my dishwasher tonight. I even got my microwave thing in there. You know, the tray. But that microwave tray needs to be dish, in a dishwasher. You got some of my stuff on it from the spaghetti, but it's not from the top on it. But it's all right. Throw this away. I didn't set my timer because like I said I'm going to watch it, but I'm about to set my timer. It already been in here about three minutes, so I'm just going to set it for eight more minutes. Because I want the cheese to melt. I don't need it to necessarily brown. That's just me, my opinion. It's two oh nine. I really don't want to be home soon. I already brought the majority of my clothes to the back in my first four miles. Like I said, this was all the rest of the family had. And when I take stuff in the dryer, all my stuff I did earlier, 
it was just this top that's mine and my towel and Philip so so I'm about to hang this up sorry about that darkness y'all yeah I'm gonna be done for the day so when Philip get home from school I already know what homework he has this homework will be real simple so all I'm gonna do I'm just gonna lay sign his folders sign his folder and stuff get his own work out he'll go because he's not gonna go outside today so he'll go take his bath um, now if he I don't know he want to go outside he can but if he take if he go outside he's not gonna take his bath but if he's not if he does not go outside he's gonna take his bath Savannah done came in here with me I hope y'all can see me. <laughs> just trying to get y'all so y'all can just be seen. Because sometimes when I be going back editing my videos, I'm like, they can't even see what this girl was really doing. I need to get Philip some more socks, y'all. And I know y'all like, you just bought him some socks. Yes, I did. But y'all know, boys, he is now at that age that he gets holes and stuff. That y'all gonna be like, well, you know, y'all won't be, because y'all, like I said, y'all know. Y'all have boys, have boys. It's like, <clears throat> I'm, I'll be looking at him like, Philip, can you please tell your mother, what in the name of the good Lord happened to your sock? Like, did you eat it? Did you get hungry at school and start eating on your sock? Or did you get hungry at home? And you ate on one of your socks? And he just laughing like it's funny. And I'm like, boy, I'm serious. What happened to your sock, baby boy? I don't know, mom. I promise. And I'm like, okay. And then he told me, well, you know I'm not eating. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I do. I understand you're not decent. I'm going to get his pajamas out. Oh, change up his undies. You can see there his little box of briefs and his pink tank. Well, I'm going to go get him out. Shorts. Where in the world his other shirts at? Oh, and his pajama shorts is in his other drawer over there. I guess I'm going to get his clothes out for the morning, too. I don't want him to wear. I don't think if he want to, I'll let him wear these tomorrow. Yeah, he can wear those tomorrow. His blue little, they like them little khaki style shorts. This, this is the, he takes his shorts off before he go to bed and he'll just sleep in his little underwear and tank but a wife beater let me not call it a tank but I, I don't want him just walking around like that but he gonna wear these shorts tomorrow and run them through the dryer when the other things come out Ma, can you take them fries out, please? Somebody. I hope somebody heard me. Ma, can you take them fries out, please? All right, well, one of y'all take them out, somebody, please. And he'll wear his pony shirt. Yeah. And he will wear. Mm, nope. He'll wear his white shoes. Now, he just wore these shoes for the first time a couple of days ago. And look at that. That was the first time he wore them. I'm going to have to wipe them off. This is why I don't like white for him. But I'm trying to get him to learn. So, Lord. Oh, Lord. All right, these is clothes he wore the last two days. I'm going to go ahead and hold them up. I hope I ain't boring y'all, but this really my full day. Yeah, he wore this yesterday. This little Hurley tee. With some, um, I'll show y'all the shorts. 
and he wore this the day before. With them little monsters. Whatever them kicking them people live from Walmart, that little monster thing. He love them. So I let him wear them. He wore that Monday, I think. No. Monday? Yeah, he wore that Monday. So that's what he wanted to put on. I was like, okay. Do you, baby boy? But these are pants. The little shorts he wore with him. His little Wrangler shorts. He wore that with that shirt. So he got his preppy days, y'all. He do. He got his days that he preppy. Thank you. I'm trying to figure out who I want him to wear these with it. Let me see. I'm going to let him wear the light blue ones. These are a little gap, you know, with JK Boys. I'm going to let him wear these and this shirt instead of the dark one with his little white shoes. He can wear these another day. But I got to wipe these off. Let's get everything out in the evening because your girl don't be trying to do nothing in the mornings. Like I said, I know the only thing I do have to do is wipe off these shoes, and I will do that while he's doing his homework. Turn his fan on. I don't have a fan on while he's at school, but he'll be getting off in a few minutes. So we turn on his fan. I gotta get my towel. And washcloths put up. Plus, I got to get that shirt put up. New clothes put up. But I'm going to do that tomorrow. Because I didn't do it today. So, I'll get that done tomorrow. It's just some more dress clothes I had when he got. But I'm ready for my little one to get home. My mama eating all my chips. Fries are done. I told y'all I be trying to multitask. Fries are done. Now I can take the top off of it. I'm not throwing this aluminum foil away, of course, because I will be using the same aluminum foil to cover it up as I eat. Now, I uncovered it and I'm just going to five minutes. That's it. But I'm about to fix me some of these potatoes. And my little one will eat some when he comes home. I already know. If y'all don't have a bread, look, we, a long time ago, we used to have a bread keeper. I remember, I remember that bread keeper. <laughs> yeah, I'm not more fun. Anywho, I'm getting me three pieces of bread because I'm making two sandwiches. But like I said, I remember my grandma used to have that bread keeper, y'all. And it did keep the bread for so long. I wasn't thinking about no bread keeper, but I got me one. Y'all, I got this last this year, like around January. And I'm glad I got that bread keeper because it do keep your bread fresh. It's like, so I got three pieces of bread. I'm going to make one so watch y'all to see. I'm just going to get me some fries. My hands are clean. That's it. Oh, and they're good and hot. Like I said, I don't need no ketchup. Sometimes I put mayonnaise on it, but I don't need none of that, baby. I'm just going to eat me some on some bread. And they're good and hot. So when I'm dropping them, but it's okay. It's going to go right on my plate. This will be for one sandwich. And then my second piece of bread. I'm only going to put a few on here. Because I'm going to make me a half a sandwich. That way... Everybody can come get some fries. Fold my bread up. Got me a 
sandwich and a half. Everybody else can have the rest of the fries if they choose. And if they don't, that's fine as well. In the next, well, not down to three minutes. My food will be out and they can eat. They can eat. So once the oven click off, I'm going to share with you guys my food. And that's it. Because I'm not going to vlog for the rest of the day. Because I'm not doing anything for the rest of the day. I'm just going to chill and eat. I have some tea in my cup. I'm about to pour some more in there. But I promise y'all I'm not going to do anything the rest of the day. So y'all not going to miss anything. I already showed y'all the brownies. Y'all already seen what I got out for the little one. So he gonna, if he do want to go outside, he can. This is tea. If he doesn't want to go outside, he going to take a bath. Or he's going to eat, take his bath. And start on his homework. And we just going to chill and watch TV for the rest of the day. So y'all let me know in the comment section how many of y'all still eat french fries down with Because I know my ladies do and I know some of my men do. We eat us some french fry sandwiches. Alright y'all, I got the brawler on. So I'm watching it with the oven open. <laughs> Cause like I said, I want my cheese to brown, but I don't want it to burn. And y'all know it does not take long for something to burn with your brawler, right? You take your eyes off for one second, and that baby burnt. Like I said, I want it to brown. But I don't want it to burn. Alright guys. That's it. So this is what they're having for dinner today. I'm going to show you guys. Potatoes, cheese, and meat. It's hard trying to hold the camera and do this. <laughs> and of course it'll sit. I just wanted to show y'all because this, this is what they're having. This is our dinner for today. I wish I would have got some sour cream for my mama because she's the only one that's going to eat the sour cream. But dinner for today, revamp meal from our spaghetti and meat sauce that we had from Monday and Tuesday. And today is Wednesday. So you guys seen I just took the leftover meat, fried some homemade fries, added some cheese and a little bit of seasoning. And that's it. <laughs> So this is going to be that dinner for the next two days. I may open up some green beans or some corn or something like that. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Y'all have a great evening. Be blessed. I love you all. And we'll see y'all in our next video. Bye, guys. Everything is going to work out fine. Everything is going to be okay. Everything is going to come on time. All I got to do is live today. Everything is going to end just right. Everything is going to fall in place. Don't worry about you. And stop worrying.